Welcome. Today we're going to make a bug catcher, or what's technically known as a putter. So here's one that we've made earlier, and it's very, very easy to make indeed. We've made it simply from objects you can find around the house, so you don't have to go out to the shops and buy any expensive equipment. So what you'll need to make your bug catcher, or putter, is a, a simple glass jar with a screw lid, some gaffer tape, two bendy straws, a pair of scissors, a small piece of cloth, a nice large nail, and a good sturdy hammer. So for this first step, what we're simply going to do is make two holes in the top of the lid using the nail and the hammer. And again, you might want to get an adult to help you with this, because once you've made the holes, there are some sharp edges that'll be on the inside. So we simply get the hammer, we give it a light tap, we're going to make two small holes, about an inch, inch and a half apart from each other. One hole. And two holes. So we've made the two holes using the hammer and the nail. We're simply just going to turn it over. And now we're going to make it a little bit safer by simply smoothing the rough edges that we've made. Just like so. So for this next stage, we're simply going to cut the straws to the right length. So we need two bendy straws, a pair of scissors, and the jar to measure them with. So again, you might need an adult to help you with this because the pair of scissors can be quite sharp. Mine certainly are. And so I'm going to measure my straws against the jar. And so I'm going to cut them so that the, the bottom of the straw comes about halfway down the jar. So that's just above where my fingers are. So carefully take the scissors simply cut them. It's as easy as that. So now my two straws are the perfect length. So next we're going to tape the cloth over the end of one of the straws. Simply take one of the straws and the cloth and the cloth just needs to be wound around the end of the straw quite lightly. And using some of the gaffer tape I prepared a few strips so I've got one down here. Simply take the gaffer tape and secure the cloth onto the straw. So now we've secured the cloth to the end of the straw using the gaffer tape. We're simply going to thread it through the holes that we made earlier. So I'll take the first straw, I'll place it through one of the holes. And then I'm going to secure it in place using some of the gaffer tape. This is simply so that no air can come through, so that when you, you suck and you're collecting your bugs, none of the air escapes. You simply wind it round the base of the straw and secure it to the lid. It doesn't have to look pretty, it just has to be effective. So there's one. And the second one. So there's the lid all finished. The straw is nice and secure. We simply take the jar now, screw the lid on, and go and catch some bugs. So when looking for a bug or an insect to capture, first of all, make sure that the bug or the insect that you're going to try and capture is smaller than the end of your straw. But also, try not to collect any obvious dangerous insects like wasps or even a bee. So this is the perfect spot to be looking for any bugs and insects. We're very lucky here at Eden because we've got a purpose-built insect and bug hotel, which is made using lots of different types of material, using lots of different layers. So I can see a lovely little spider in here. Let's see if we can capture it using the pooter. Be nice and careful. And so now you can see the reason why we use the glass jar, because now I can turn it this way and that way, so I can have a look at underneath the spider, and I'll look at the top of the spider. I can see the legs as well. Now I've identified it. I'm actually going to try and release it. I'm going to be very careful with this as well because I don't want to hurt the, hurt the spider. But also what's very important is to actually return it to the, as close to the exact spot as where you found it as you can. So I'm going to try and gently tip it out into my hand. Here we go. It's making webs already. I'm going to try and release it. There we go. So here we are inside Eden's tropical rainforest biome, the largest indoor rainforest in the entire world. As you can see, we're sitting amongst our chocolate trees at the moment, otherwise known as Theobroma cacao. 
and running up and down the trunk right in front of us here you can see a lot of ants these are our resident white-footed ants now i don't know about you but i'm going to have hours of fun collecting lots of samples of bugs and insects in here and i hope you guys do too but here we go